Vision, leadership, persistence epitomizes their successes. More than just administrators, they created a new paradigm for unmanned aerial systems, remotely piloted aircraft. Innovation and tenacity led their efforts to create a model for others to emulate. General Atomics' Aeronautical Systems, Inc. was their platform, their willingness to create and lead the right team at the right time. They were visionaries prepared to make a positive impact in a very different world, which demanded a new type of aircraft with advanced technologies and capabilities. They set the bar by clearly defining the goals and meeting them. They were Rear Admiral Thomas J. Tom Cassidy, Jr. and Frank W. Pace. Unmanned, will travel. Tom Cassidy joined General Atomics in 1986. The company was ready to take on the challenges to create new airborne platforms without pilots on board, remotely controlled. It was an opportunity to bring radio-controlled toys to the forefront of aviation. Cassidy was the right guy, tenacious and driven, the Navy way. Unlike some others, he saw early the advantages of unmanned aircraft. Remember, it's not natural for a pilot, and he was a superb pilot to replace himself. For many, it's still uncomfortable. Cassidy, a Vietnam combat veteran, served for 34 years, flying over 6,000 flight hours as a naval aviator. Admiral Cassidy's many and varied duties saw him transition from the prop fighter era in Hellcats to flying F-16 and F-5 aggressors. His broad stroke through naval aviation history included service as a task force operations officer during the evacuation of Saigon, U.S. Air Force exchange pilot, and commanding fighter squadron 161 and Naval Air Station Miramar, on the way to his final assignment as commander fighter airborne early warning wing, U.S. Pacific Fleet. 155 combat missions, multiple distinguished flying crosses, and 780 aircraft landings also earned him a stint in Hollywood. In 1986, Tom played Maverick's nemesis in the classic aerial combat movie. During the flight scenes, the all-black MiG-28 dancing across the movie screen is being flown by the Admiral himself. As a technical advisor, he provided the necessary impact to the script, which added an unmatched layer of authenticity to the film. Overall, the movie was considered a tremendous boost for naval aviation. In 1993, Cassidy assumed the reins as president of GAASI, Aeronautical Systems, Inc. The first person was now in place, the second on his way. Frank Pace, joining General Atomics in 1991, sealed the deal. He was the engineering, technology, and science partner in the equation. Tom knew it, and Frank crossed the T's and dotted the I's. The team was set. Together, the two changed the unmanned and remotely piloted landscape forever. As General Atomics grew to San Diego's largest headquartered military contractor, Frank Pace's vision grew exponentially. Joining General Atomics, he was already a distinguished force in several key defense and space contractor initiatives. And in March 2010, after nearly 19 years as Tom's partner and exec, Frank assumed Tom's role as ASI's president. It was a partnership and succession envied by the industry. Just as Tom was the right guy, Frank fit the mold. Talented, technically superior, with the demonstrated drive and ambition required to lead both his company and the remotely piloted aircraft industry, he has twice been honored for his work, was inducted into the Hall of Fame for Engineering, Science, and Technology, and awarded the 2010 Pioneer Award from the Association of Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. But Frank's been a tiger his entire life, determined and driven. His determination and ambition is reflected in his success. He achieved perfect scores in the math portion of the SAT and ACT, and in sports was a champion tennis all-city singles and doubles player multiple times. At UC Irvine, he was one of only three graduates to earn honors in two different majors. Frank has personally overseen over 70% of the 3 million plus flight hours by the wide variety of remotely piloted vehicles produced by ASI, including the Predator, Reaper, Avenger, and RPA projects under research and development. Perhaps his most important achievement was his work on mating the Predator with the Hellfire missile. Remotely piloted had now gone beyond data gathering. They were lethal. Persistent and lethal changed the entire battlefront and provided our fighting forces a new tool in the war on terrorism. Frank has been heavily involved in many other projects directly contributing to the safety of our nation, including satellite communications and the Navy's Mariner Reconnaissance Program. He personally provided guidance and leadership to the Army's Sky Warrior Alpha and Gray Eagle programs, bringing them into frontline service. 
He delivered the Altair to NASA, a remotely piloted aircraft which sports an impressive 53-hour flight endurance at its optimal cruise altitude just over 45,000 feet. The industry title, Mr. RPA, fits. Tom and Frank truly succeeded in their goals. They've given unmanned the necessary persistence, technical data gathering, and lethality to create a new paradigm in aviation. No longer is the question, should we include unmanned aircraft, not drones, in the equation? It's how many, what's the mix? Now that's success. For exceptional leadership and vision, creating a new model for the future of unmanned aerial flight, creating aircraft technical systems, which have positively changed how warfighters view and prosecute the battlefront, and how they can anticipate future combat requirements, yet respond quickly to emergent and unknown scenarios, which require immediate attention, on target, on time, yet persistent and capable, have guided their goals to save lives and defend a nation. For their unwavering dedication to excellence and team building, they are deserving of recognition, and the San Diego Air and Space Museum takes great pride in inducting Rear Admiral Tom Cassidy and Frank Pace into the International Air and Space Hall of Fame.